Sound engineering off a bespoke pressure washer range. Let me show you around these ones. Now these ones have been specifically designed for the Middle East, so you've got dust covers over the engines, and they've also been configured for misting and also dust suppression. Let me show you around. So you've got 1125 litre, we've got 2000 litre, and then we've got another 1125 litre. So we've got a three and a half thousand PSI petrol driven pressure washer, Honda powered, and it's all contained inside this dust proof box that we can open right out. So we've got nice easy access. So you've got the Honda powered pressure washer, 3000 PSI, like I said, and then to run the spreader plate on the back for dust suppression, we've got a Honda powered water pump there that gives out more volume. The pressure washer is going to run at about 15 litres a minute, but then we need significantly more water to run the spreader plate on the back. Let me show you the spreader plate on the back. So it's just a simple spreader plate. The feed that's going back to the pump is there. So you open that and that's going to give you feed to your water pump. We've added a drain down if you require drain down. So let's work back around. Feed to the uh, little Honda powered with the spreader place at the rear. Then the feed to the pressure washer is on the front. Then there's an inline filter in there as well. So there's your feed to your pressure washer. So you open that when you want to use the pressure washer part. And then we've got 10 meters of hose on this hose reel. And then we've got, and then we've got a special adapted lance that will mist and wash at the same time. I'll show you that in the demo. And then also inside that flap there, that's your unloader valve. So turn that at the top and that'll give you more or less pressure depending on which application you're using. So let's fire them up and have a look. So I'm going to fire up the pressure washer first. Let me just show you the starting procedure. So you've got an on off switch there. So turn that onto the on position. And then you've got your throttle control there, faster or slower. And then also you've got your choke on or off. If it's warm, you won't need that on. And then fuel feed so make sure the fuel's on chokes in the off position depending whether you require it or not that's onto the hair and that's on and it's just a recall just simple recall start so i'm going to start it up i'll do the pressure washer and then i'll turn it into the misting now if you're misting pressure you need less pressure you can adjust that on the throttle or you can re reduce it on the unloader valve as well sounds like you pressure washer in if it's too much power so this is a 3600 psi pressure washer so if you need less power, you can bring it down on the unloader valve. So let's fire it up. powered again so let me get through the starting procedure of the wx10 so you've got a choke there on off again depends on whether the engine's warm or cold flick it on when it's cold start it up flick it off when it starts you've got a throttle control there faster or slower and then you've got an on off switch just in there so starting flick it on and then 
it's just a basic recall start. I say just, just make sure you've got the water supply turned on at the rear. Come round. It will gravity feed if there's a full tank of uh, water. And then just follow it up. pressure washer, dust suppression, misting bowsers. Don't forget to check out our website, trainengineering.co.uk and all of the videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.